Alright, what is up guys? Cobra29 is back with a brand new video. In today's video, we are going to be making animations in Roblox in 2021. So if you want to animate the players in your game or any just uh, just NPCs in your game, this is exactly where you want to be. Make sure to hit the subscribe button those, and click that notification bell so you're notified whenever I come out with a new video. And stick to the end of this video because at the end of the video, I'm going to be showing you my schedule for the next couple months of uh, the next videos coming out if you're interested in that. Alright, so let's get right into the video. How do we animate and how do we play it? So we're going to be starting out with how to animate, and if you know how to animate, you can skip in the video, but if uh, if you don't, this is where you want to be. Um, so we can click plugins right here, and let's just go ahead and click this button that says build rig or rig builder. This should automatically be somewhere in your plugins uh, tab if you have already gotten plugins before it'll be some it'll be somewhere okay so you can click that and you can click r15 and block rig so this will create an r15 rig i'm just going to rotate it a little bit so you can see the sun on it this is going to be the rig we're working with okay make sure it's r15 all right so once you have your block rig in here we can click animation editor up here and we're just going to it says select a rig to animate so this opens a new window this is our animation editor so we can uh drag this up a little bit well, actually, no, we can't. Sad. But we can click this little rig right here, and let's create a brand new animation. I'm going to call this Wave. So we're going to create a waving animation, okay? And, um... And you can make whatever animation you want. I'm just going to show you the basics because I'm not the best at animating, um, but I can do some things. All right, so let's uh, get right into it. So you can click. You can see if you hover over, there are tons of different parts of the uh, of the uh, rig that you can uh, click on. So we're going to click on one of the arms. Um, I'm going to click on his right arm. And it, you can see that it move uh, makes this rotation thing that we see with our blocks in our game. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to say this is our timeline, okay? So this is our timeline, so we're going to drag a little bit over here because um, this is where the animation starts. And then 0.3 seconds later, we're going to go ahead and let him start to wave, okay? So by doing to do that, we just literally just have to do this sort of a thing, and we can rotate. Now... You're probably having this sort of a situation like me where it's starting to look really sloppy. The way we can fix that is by going to home and clicking move. And we can just move that wherever we want. If you're having problems, make sure to click uh, uncheck that move right there in model. And now we can move this how we want. So now if we go to the beginning, we can see that we have this start of a wave, right? Now... This, I'm going to go ahead and scrap that by clicking this part right here. This is where we've, um, this is where we started. This is not where we started. This is the part where they're, wa uh, it's starting to wave. And I'm going to move it way over here. Move my, uh, move this bar way over here and click rotate again because I'm going to try this again. So I still can do this sort of a thing, but instead of going all the way up, what you're going to want to do is not mess with the joints, but click the part lower okay one lower and we can just kind of make this move up too okay and if we now come over here we can see it's starting the wave now i'm gonna click this these diamonds right here because these diamonds are what we're currently at this position right here and i'm gonna move them over so that the wave's a little quicker all right so this is what it's looking like right now not horrible but still not really anything exciting so what we can do now is we can just kind of mess around with it we and whoops uh let me undo that and we can just add a little bit more to the timeline and have this come up here and we can uh we can just mess around with it we can rotate these parts to make it look exactly how we want it to so that's a little bit fast i'm going to take these diamonds once again and move them around you can move around the diamonds until you like what you have um but here's the beginning of it and now i want his body to kind of shake a little bit so i'm going to come over here and we can just rotate him a little bit side to side right let's just rotate him and now let's try this. Uh, so that's way too fast, as you can tell. So I'm going to move these diamonds and spread them out a little bit. And we can now play that. <laughs> and that's still a little fast. So I'm going to once again spread out these diamonds. And try that. 
so that's still a little fast and we're running out of room all right so how do we fix that well we can click this number right here and change the amount of seconds and change that one to a two so now we have plenty more room and we can spread out these diamonds way more I'm even gonna spread it out more than that there and there so now he's waving right so I'm not the best at animating I'm more of a scripter but I just wanted to show you the basics you that's how you do it you move around in the timeline and you whoop, and you move the different parts you want to move at that point of the animation okay so this is great but he's stopping right here right we want him to come back to this position so what we can do is we can come over here and let's go ahead and copy these first keyframes by hitting copy or right click after clicking the diamonds and clicking copy selected and over here let's just right click and do paste keyframes so now we'll notice we have a little bit of a problem that he's putting his arm down way too early so to fix this all we have to do is we have to go to where he's about about to start going down and let's just move his arm back up okay so there we go that's a very um <laughs> not a very good um wave animation but it's an animation okay i just wanted to show you guys how to so that's how you animate basically and make sure that you guys take your time on your animations this was just to show you how to make them and how to script it um but if you want to make a punch animation, go for it. I actually have a punch animation that I've made um, already. For now, I'm just going to use this wave, okay? We All right, there's our wave. How do we save it? You just click these three dots right here and click export. And now you can give it a name like wave and give it a description. You have to give it at least something. You can even write E. But I'm just going to write wave. And then we can click submit and it'll upload and we can click this little copy icon right here and that copies the ID to our clipboard. Alright, and one more thing, sorry if the audio is weird, I'm recording over this, or I'm making an edit. Um, but if you ever are like, oh no, the, uh, the ID isn't copied anymore, that's okay because you can go to roblox.com, hit create. And then what you're going to do at that point is you're going to come over here and scroll on down to uh animations right here click that and you can find your animation and this one is wave so i can click wave and then up here up in the uh link you can click this link and then the id is literally right here it's this digit something digit number you can just copy that and paste it again voila all right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of this guy and we can close out the animation editor and now we're going to insert a local script into starter player scripts and starter character scripts okay and then inside of that uh local script we'll insert something called an animation so an animation you guessed it is an animation so we can right here where it says animation id we can paste this number that we just copied um and that is our animation id now we can give this a name like animation wave it's up to you. And now we're going to define some variables. We can just say local UIS equals game colon get service user input service. So the UIS user input service input service is um, what we use to figure out if they have clicked something on their keyboard, you know? Okay. And we can say local player. Uh, actually, we can just say local character. Whoa. Local character equals game dot players uh or actually game dot workspace colon wait for child so we're waiting for the game dot players dot local player dot name so we're waiting for the player's name next we can say local and then let's give this animation a name let's just call it wave local and then we can say local wave equals character uh, colon wait for child so we're going to wait for the character's humanoid and then we can say colon load animation script dot wave or we can actually just say script colon wait for child uh, and then you gonna do that and we can cl uh, make sure that you have parent uh, quotation marks sorry like that 
there we go and boom so now we have the animation we're ready to play it when they click a certain key now i'm going to have it be that when they click the when they click q they can play the animation okay so how do we do that well we just say uis dot input began colon connect whoa connect function so we're going to make a new function or we're we're saying this is going to happen whenever they click a uh, a button key comma chat so we're going to just say if chat then return end so if they chatted the letter q then we don't want to do anything but if they pressed q because they want to wave then we're going to go ahead and do it so we can say if key dot key code equals equals enum dot key code dot k i mean not k uh dot q then and here we can put any key you want if you want them to push p and you've made a punch animation then go for it okay um and then we can just say key i mean sorry so this is just saying that they have already they have pressed the letter q okay and they're not chatting it and we can just say uh wave colon play Okay, so it's that simple. So if we play our game, we should, whenever we put, press the letter Q, and when you, if you have a different letter, make sure it's capitalized. But whenever we press the letter Q, we play our wave animation. So that is how you wave, okay? <laughs> so it's not a very good animation, like I said. You definitely could use some work. But that is just how you play, uh, play the animations and make them, okay? So... Yeah, feel free to um, to make your own animations because this one's not that good. But if you want to make a punch animation, that, that would be so cool. Uh, make a punch animation where they bring up their fists and punch and click the letter P to punch. That'd be cool. Um, you can do that. And my suggestion is um, if you're going to take animating seriously, which you totally should if you're interested in that because animating is super helpful in Roblox, um, then you should make sure to check uh, to do whatever you're going to make in the mirror and see yourself do it so you can see what a real human being looks like when they do that obviously this isn't what a real human looks like when they wave um but make sure to do that if uh, if you're going to take animating seriously and now let's do this with an npc okay so let's go into plugins and uh let's go ahead and if you have this plugin called load character then use it if not uh i'll have the link in the description um or you can just create another block rig remember that block rig so we can do either one right and you can just type in your username uh let's just find somebody named roblox i wonder who that is <laughs> and spawn him as r15 uh you can use this guy it'll work just just fine and here we can insert we can go into the humanoid and we can insert an animation actually we're going to insert a script and then inside of that script we'll insert an animation and then inside of that animation we can paste the same id that we copied from earlier and we can say um while wait and let's just wait 1.3 do because that's about how long the animation is uh you can s time it and see how long your animation is but this wave is about 1.3 seconds i'm just gonna say while wait to uh, to do seconds while wait two seconds do so every two seconds it's gonna do this um it's gonna play this animation we can just say local humanoid equals script dot parent dot parent and then local anim equals, actually, let's go ahead and do that automatically. Local anim, so up outside of the while loop, equals uh, script dot parent uh, dot, uh, yeah, colon load animation. And then we can just say script uh, colon wait for child uh, animation. Or you can name this animation like wave, like we did earlier, and then call this wave. And then we can just say, we can get rid of this and say anim colon play. And it's that simple. So now let's go ahead and run this. If we run it or play it, every two seconds, our little Roblox guy should 
play this wave animation that we created but make sure that it's the same exact type make sure if it's all r6 that it's all r6 or if it's all r15 that it's all r15 and that is how you animate in roblox and yeah it's super helpful um but if you want to just really learn how to animate uh better you can find other tutorials or you can just learn on your own that's what i'm doing with animating when i do animating i just do it on my own um I think what you've learned here is really helpful, I hope, um, and you can just use that this, this information and really just create uh, these animations for yourself. I hope it was useful, and now let me tell you guys the schedule that I hope you guys have been waiting for. And then, so here's the schedule. So we have right now for today animations, right? And then the next week is going to be beginner scripting uh, part 11, local scripts and GUIs, and then there's going to be part 12, remote events, and then lastly part 13, where we're gonna be creating, uh, sorry, I was wrong, part 13, where we're doing find for child and wait for child, so those are gonna be great. Moving on to April, we'll have our final episode uh, part 14 of beginner scripting series which is the final episode and we'll be make, making a game the next week we'll have a fall guys shop episode and then the next week we'll have fall guys maps and safety so that's going to end the series and the next week we'll have royal high ball and then the royal high costumes and that will end that series and then the rest is to be determined for those of you who, are, who remember i had this pathetic video series started when i was a beginner at youtube um, called Build a House. Sorry, but that one's not going anywhere. We're not going to be finishing that series. Um, but obviously this is a schedule. Life happens, and so schedules can change. Uh, this is hopefully going to be the schedule, but, uh, there may have to be some changes to the schedule, but yeah, so that is our planned, whoops, nothing in February. Uh, and so that's our planned schedule. Hopefully it'll go that way. And, uh, yeah, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Get ready for more beginner scripting series coming next week. And make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell for you so you are updated every single video that I come out with. And if I'm thinking about starting some sort of a membership thing on my YouTube, if you would be interested in that, make sure to comment below what kind of things you should uh, that I should add to that. Maybe I should add the source code to people who are members. Uh, that's definitely going to be one of those um, if I do that or uh, members only live streams, stuff like that. So yeah, make sure to uh, drop a comment if you would like to see that and what you would like to see for that. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.